Hi, my name is Zakia Adetunji. I'm the creative director for Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my layout and composition series. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to do simple design with too many contents. Um, so this is the mail that the client sent to me, and this is what we are going to be using for this uh, project. So the first thing I'm going to do is to drag in my image. All right. And um, I got this image from Shutterstock, so I'm dragging the image in. Okay, yeah. so I've already cropped the image. I've removed the background of the image, so that's why it's looking like this. All right, so there's one effect I want to um, apply to this image that I'm going to be used that will make it look more like a background image. All right, so let's start. Um, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to create a new layer by clicking this icon right here. And I'll rename my layer. What I just did, uh, did now is I double clicked on the layer. So I'll call this um, white. All right. So the effect I'm actually, um, the effect I'm planning to create here is called afton, color afton. So I'm going to put, I'm going to make this, um, make this white. All right. I apply background color by holding control backspace. Okay. So the next thing I'll do is, um, uh, I need to crop the image because I don't want something this um, I don't want it to be this big because this white space here I don't think I need it so I'm going to drag click on my crop tool and um, I'll draw a square I'm going to stop here uh, let me push this in okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, match these two layers so to do that I'll click on the first layer and then shift select the second layer and I'll go to layer and select match layers so I have the two layers I have them as one layer we need to convert this image to black and white so to do that you go I'll go to image um, adjustment and then select the saturate and then we need to increase the size of the, the, size of the image a bit so to do that, I'll hit Control T, or you can always use the shortcut here by clicking on this icon and then hold on Shift. I'm holding on Shift while I increase the size, and um, I'll remove this to go to Image Adjustment and then brighten the image a bit. Cause um, I need to make the, the a brighter part um, on the image more brighter so that my co um, color afton effect to um, we, we really give me the effect that I want. So to do that, I'm, I'm increasing the image. I'm increasing the brightness a bit, and um, I don't want the air to be too bright. So I, I, I'm going to push the contrast up, and then increase the brightness again to the point. All right. Sure. All right. Good. Uh, I think I'm losing some video level. I want the darker part to be more to be more darker sorry excuse me and then push this out right here and here all right so i think this is it click computer pixel it and then color up tone so i'm going to make it five and then 45 45 45 and then 45 so here okay all right nice adjustment and then click on my gradient icon here then click on this then I will change this to um, 24 two, two, four, eight, and I'll say ok and then come here and change this to FF good and I'm going to say OK. OK. Ugh, man, my red is too heavy. Reduce the strength of the red. I'll go to, so I'll go to hue, saturation, and I'll make this minus 30. Let's see what minus 30 will give us. I'm going to say this. I'm going to make it this. Um, I'm going to make this a JPEG file. I'll go to file, save as, and um, I'll go to my desktop. Finding images to use, so change this to JPEG. So okay, I already have a save here, so I'll save it again. I'll override the one I have. 
So I'll say OK and I'll say OK. All right. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using um, InDesign for uh, the um, input of my text and my images. So if you're an InDesign user, um, I believe this will help you. But I'll try to add the coral draw part in this, in this video. All right. InDesign. All right. So I'll hit File, Save as, Say I'm in New, and then Documents. Yes, let's do make it webs and I'll say put twelve zero zero and um put uh, this uh, as six two eight then two columns fine then this will be set to zero and um my margin should be thirty six, I'm okay with that. Then my um bleed should be zero zero pixels since I'm not printing this so I'm leaving this as is I'm leaving it the way it is so uh, I think we're done then I'll hit OK so I'll go to the folder where I saved the image uh, I'm going to drag it and drop it yep drag it drop it drag it drop it so I'll draw a square draw a square yep so uh, I need to trim it I need to trim it to trim it so I'll push this here reduce I'm using control minus to zoom out and I'll increase it a bit increase a bit and push this here increase this a bit more uh, well, my red is too heavy, so I need to go back to um, Photoshop to reduce the strength of the red. It's too much. I'm thinking maybe I should add a little more blue to it. All right, let me go back to Photoshop. I'll come here, go to color balance, add more blue to it, add more blue to it, add more blue to it, more blue, more blue, more blue, more blue. shadow, add more blue to the shadow. Yep. No, 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 it's too heavy. Mm, let me see. Go to the highlight. No, sh sorry. Uh, Midtones. Um, okay. Maybe I should just reduce the strength of the red with my hue. Oh, this blue is too heavy. I'll reduce this. Yes. Then I am going to push this down to about here and make it more darker. So it's darker. So it's I'm using my curve adjustments. Make it darker, 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 darker. All right. Now the reason I'm making it more darker is so that my texts will come out better when I put it on it. Now, it's two things I'm trying to achieve here. I don't want to lose the look of the, the effect on the background, and I don't want the effect to um, overshadow my text. So that's the reason I'm trying to reduce the strength of the, um, the, the, if, if the, strength of the red on the background, all right? So let me push this down to about um, here. And then move it to this layer. Ah, let's put it back on. All right, um, I'll move it here. Okay, so I'm back at um, the hue, and uh, I'll push this down a little bit. Uh, yes, I'm thinking of moving this to this point, and then increase it. Yes. Okay, yes, I think this is it. So I'm going to save it again. So what I'll do now is to use Control Shift X or go to File and then save, save as. Then I'll locate the folder again and um, hit JPEG. Then double click and say yes.
to refresh the image what you all you just need to do is to double click on this icon here and then it will apply the changes to the image all right so the next thing i'm going to do is um i have this image i i got from the internet which is this so it's the how i was able to get this is i searched for abstract gray background from google and from google image and i got this so i'm gonna draw this and then push it here and then push this in all right so let's start adding our text so the first thing i'll do is i'm going to draw a, a line a ruler all right position my ruler to about to be somewhere here and uh, i'm going to draw another ruler again i'll put this here okay so i'm going to type woman in the shape from plan in the letter shape from plan leadership and uh, I'm going to push this down now the font I'm going to use here is federal okay now make the color white make it white right and I am going to increase the font size to about 18 reduce the tracking I don't want too much space tracking and uh, push this down enter backspace delete space all right um, ba -ba 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 -ba. yes I think the font is too big, so I'll reduce it. Okay. Um, because I don't want it to look, I don't want the, the name of the event to look dry, so I decided to add something like a like like a square shape, like a triangle shape. Sorry, right here. So I a shape like this and I uh, make use of this and I push this the select click and I push this in or click this bam and um, increase the size and then make it touch W And um, I made this white. 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 And I remove the outline color. And um, the next thing I did is I changed the color of this to red by lighting the text and then click on the eyedropper to and then click to sample a color. So our text color is red now. So I'll hit Ctrl Shift. Um, Control sheet square brackets to move the layer on top of the triangle shape and um, all right I think we're almost at the end part of this tutorial okay I need to move this up a bit it's too anyway all right so then the next thing is the revolutional rethinking which is R E V O L U T I N Revolutionary Thinking. So this should be big because this, this is the theme of the event. All right, something needs to be bigger than the other. All right, so. Remember, the bigger your title, the more it calls people's attention to look at it. All right, always make the important thing bigger in your artwork. 
So I'm going to go back here again and um, I'll make use of the same font. I'll make it bold and I'll make this white and reduce the tracking to about this point. Now that's too much. Allow space in your artwork to so make your artwork look simple and nice. Always give room for space. Then I'm going to reduce the size of my font to too big. Reduce the tracking a bit. All right, and I'll position this here. Yes. All right, so I'll hit W because this my lines here. The um, boxes are really distracting me, so I hit W to make them go off. Letter W, so I have them off. And um, yeah, the next thing we're adding is the subtitle for the event, which is um, shaping. Sorry, shaping. Sorry, I'm supposed to use the title case. Shaping. the future for Nigeria all right then I'll come here and use the same font family which is this and this time I'll use um, Demi is it Demi? Should we use Demi? I'll make it medium. Alright, so I'll click here and then make the color white. And I uh, will position this to here. Reduce the size of the box. I mean, not box. It's called text frame. Alright, reduce the size of the text frame. Alright, so our dates. Um, because I don't want to, I don't want to waste time. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this. To make a duplicate of the, this, you drag and hold down alt and then you have a copy then I'll position position this here let me see if this is no it's not on top of my line I think that my ruler is too big it's too big the space is too big so I'm gonna close it right here perfect so I'm gonna change I'm gonna change this to the dates I'll make it 25th 25th November November comma put this down say 2017 and I will use the medium I'll use medium and I uh, will reduce the size to about um, let's say 36 still big so I'll reduce it manually. So to do that, I'll hold on Control Shift and then I'll drag. Okay. Then I'll position this here. Position this here. And then the next at the address. Still too big, so I'll reduce it a bit more. So let's add the address. So the address will be here. I'm holding on Shift and I Alt at the same time to make a copy. Shift will help me get a straight, will give me the opportunity to, to move the object in a straight line. Now, why am I doing that? Because I don't want to, I want to be able to achieve, I want my text to be on, to fall on the same line. I want the top um, part of my text to be on the same line. All right, that's why I'm holding down Shift. So I'll come here now and change the, and type the venue, which is venue. Okay, so sorry, I have to pause the video so as to save time. So I have the address typed already, and I am going to change the size to 14. Yeah, 14. Then, um, yeah, I think I should still hold with the. Still, no, let me make it um, book or demi. All right, demi is fine. And I am going to push this down and. Um, push this down so 
then I'll reduce the tracking. Tracking is too much. Okay, tracking is fine now. Reduce the text frame. Shift select the two um, text frame and then push it up a bit. Okay. And then drag. All right. And um, I make a copy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I made a copy. Made a copy with shift hold down and then drag and hold on and help control. All right. So I have two copies now. So make duplicates of this box. Um, or make the uh, make duplicate of the last move. What, what how to do that here is to go to edit and then select um, duplicates. All right. So the shortcut is the front of it, which is Control Alt Shift D. So I'm going to do that twice. Control Alt Shift and D. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and um, six. Perfect. So I have six boxes. I'll click here and set, I'll select the six boxes and then hold on shift and increase it a bit. All right. So the next thing I'll do is to click again, drag down, hold on alt, do it without um, doing the shortcut. So I'll push this up a bit and then select this. If you're watching this tutorial and then you know and you know <laughs> and the shortest way to do this, please don't criticize me. Just do it the way you think it should be done, alright? Okay, so I am going to make more copies. I want to stop at five. One, two, three, four, and five. Five. Alright, one, two, three, four, and five. Alright, so I have five boxes. And um, I have how many images? So let's go to where we have our pictures and count the number of pictures we have. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so these are the images. So I'm going to select everything. And then we have how many images there? We have 12 images. All right. So we need to put the 12 images in those boxes. So let's start with the. Uh, let's start with this so what I'll do is to click on this box right here and um, come here drag and drop it good so I'm gonna double click on it and then position the image where I want it Position it here Position this up stop a bit Alright, I think I'm okay with this. The next thing I'll do is to click on this box and then sample the color of this um the lady's hair in my background. So to do that, I'll click here and I'll click. Alright now the reason why it's not really he's not applying it to it now is because Instead of applying it to the fill, the uh, uh, my high dropper tool applied it to the stroke of the image. So what your your own job now is to click on this icon here, and then it will apply it to the image. I mean to the box. Sorry, to the box, to the fill of the box. All right. So I'll come here, and this is where I'm going to add the pick the name of the speaker. So I am going to. I'll come to. Uh, where I have the images which is this is the lady's name I'll click here copy this and I'll zoom in I'm holding on control space bar now to zoom in and um, I'll draw a text box then I'll paste the name control A change the color to white and then use the same font that I've been using Alright, choose this. And um, my name should be Doctor. 
that uh, okay uh, now because I noticed the name is going off my frame so the next thing I did is I break the sun name down and I hit centralize and position this here close the text frame now the shortcut to do this control alt C yes that's the shortcut then I'll push this in push this in and I'll position this here and when I take my test is too big so I'll reduce it to let's say 10 no 10 10 all right and I'll reduce the tracking to okay let me make it 12 let's just make it 12 all right 12 and I want my text to be centralized so what I'll do is I'll click on the text all right and then hold and shift and then click on the box and then click on the box one more time and hit this icon and then my text is now centralized and um, the next thing I'll do is change at the hat why she's uh, there why she's part of the speaker so I'll put it uh, I'll put keynotes speakers I mean speaker not speakers then I'll make this um, uh, I think six points I'll make this six points and um, my color I'll make it italics so as to make it different from the name all right I don't want people to think it's part of a name so I'll make it italics and then change the color to this all right so and um, I'll hold control alt C all right to read to make the text frame fit the text in it so I'm hitting control control minus to zoom out some I don't want us to waste time on this so what I'll just do is I'll I'm going to just um, I'll pause the video and then by the time I come back I would have added all the names and the other um, speakers in the boxes all right all right so I think I'm done here okay. and then the next thing I'll do is to go to file new and I am going to change this to pixels since we're working in we're working in pixels so I'll make this 1200 and make this um, 628 628 okay and um, uh, I'll make this RGB since, since we're putting this on Facebook 72 I'm fine and I'll say okay all right so in coral draw this is how I get the center of my of my um, art board what I do first is I double click all right, and double click to make a square, to make a rectangle of the artboard, and then push this to this side. Hold down Control, come here, drag, and right click at the same time to make a copy. Shift select the two um, objects, then drag it to the very last um, end of the uh, of the um, artboard. Then I'll click on my ruler and then drag ruler to to get the center of the page okay and um, position my ruler to be at the center of the page then um, the next thing I'll do is to bring in my background image which is this so I'll drag it and drop here and I'll power clip it now right click and drag on the box where you want the power clip to occur and then you release your hand and I say power clip inside then right click again and then say edit power clip and then reduce the size of the image because it's looking too big. It's too big. All right. And I'll say finish. All right. So uh, then the next thing you do is to start adding the text. I'm going to choose the same font I used in my InDesign object. So I'll click here. The font is loaded. All right, and I'll choose. I'll type F E D R A. I'm trying to use the same font I use in the InDesign project. 
sorry, I'm supposed to come here. F E D R A uh, All right. So this is it they're here. So I'll use bold. Um I don't know why my corridor is hanging. Alright, so I'll push this up. Push this no sorry. Then push the position this here. Now there's something I'm supposed to do. So I'm supposed to set my my boundaries. So to do that, I'm gonna draw a small box. I'm gonna click here and then draw a small box. And drag this here and drag this here. All right. And I'm trying to set set my margin. So come here, and drag this here, and drag this here. Good. All right. Now come here again. And I'll do the same thing right here. Come here now and drag this here. Perfect. All right, so I am going to let me just quickly do what I'm supposed to do on this. So I'll position this here, change this to white, take this to bold. So let me use a very simple font style so I'll use um, hmm, sorry let me use this uh, I'll use this and uh, I'm going to draw a shape I'm holding on control because I want the shape to be perfect and I'll convert it to curve by going to objects and then say convert to curve come here double click on this then I am going to increase the size a bit. Nice. So I'm, I'm going to sample a color now by clicking on my um, color eyedropper tool. Sample the color and click. All right. Now this is not in design, so the way we're going to do here is going to be different. So I'll select the text and change this back to white, and then click on this and make this white then hit shift page up or you can always go to objects order and then say to front of layer all right so that's for that and then for this I'm gonna come here now and say bold increase the size change it to white now you can always change the size of your font here, all right. But for my for let not to waste time, I'm going to change it from here. All right, I'll change it from here. Reduce the tracking with uh, my shape tool, and then push this down. Make this come here. Push on this right here. And push this here make this white and um, I'm gonna make this this size this font style and then reduce the size to about here alright and then I'll hold shift and um, um, hit letter R alright I'll hit R to make everything justify to the right I mean to the L sorry sorry L so as to make everything go to the left and um, I'll come here again and I'll choose the same font again but this time I'll choose the bold fonts so I'll make this white push this down uh, track push this up Okay, and I am going to do the same thing. 
here but in order not to waste time let me teach you one of my shortcuts i'm sure some of every, most of us are familiar with it what i'll just do is i'll, I'll right click and drag and when i see the a sign it means i'm on the text so i'll release my hand from right click and then say copy all property so i'll copy the same property i have on the date on um, the venue but for this one i don't want to i don't want the text to be too bold so i'll use a very very small font style i am going to use um medium uh, or normal now let's use medium all right and i'll reduce the size of the font about this size all right let's see if the top of the text are on the same line no they're not so i'll push this up push this up all right yes and um yeah so i don't need this i'll delete it okay so it's time for us to bring in our background image which is this so i'll drag this and drop it here drop 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 good then i'll park clip this inside this box so i'll do the same thing i did for the bag ladies background right click and then power clip bam so for this one what i'll do since i i'm okay with the size of um, this box so what i'll do is to right click and then say fit content uh, fit content and then select select few frame proportional so i have this now i'm using coral draw 18 it's possible you're not going to see this on coral draw 13 all right it's not on coral draw 13 i think it's on 14. anyway so um let's add our images so the first thing i'll do is to the next thing I'll do is click on the rectangle tool, then um, hold down control to draw a perfect shape. All right, and I'll position my box here to be on this line. Actually, it's possible I'm, I'm still going to move it up from that line. And I'll hold down control and drag, and I'll right click at the same time to make a copy. And then for coral draw, Sorry, I'm using the shortcut because I don't I don't want this um, video to get to one hour. Then for coral draw, what I'll just do is to hit Control R. So I'll hit Control R again. R, R, R. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'll select everything and I'll increase the size to the get here. Yep. Control okay. I'm just position this here. And um so I'll make another duplicate. I'll hold on control and then right click at the same time and then hit control R again. One, two, three, four, and five. Then let's bring in our first image. Um, select everything and push it up a bit because I want to add our sponsor's logo. So I'll come here and um, I'll go to where I have the images, which is here, and I'll drop this. Then I uh, will reduce the size a bit. Reduce the size. Do the size. And then power clip it. Now, how to power clip? I think I've explained that before, so I'm going to explain it again. I right click and then drop it on the box. Right click, drag, drop on the box and go to edit content. Position it where you want it to be. Then right click and then say finish power clip contents. Okay, so let's apply color to this box. I'll come here and I um I'll double click here. No, no, sorry, this. I'll color pick this, then go to this, and then 
apply um, already I have it typed to the color I want to apply to the box is 28 28 44 and I'll say okay so I have the color now in the box in the box so the next thing I'll do is to add the name of the speaker which is um, um, OB is equal to Zilli alright so I'll paste it and um, change the size change the font style sorry and I'll reduce the size a bit move the center change the color to white just the font style no don't make it too big then I'm gonna click on the name should select the name the box and then hit C alright and the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna make a copy so I'll drag and click to make a copy and then double click on it and then call this keynote space speaker and then make it italics reduce the font size to the 6 position it here now if it's not showing please don't be don't think what you're doing is not working the reason why my system is giving me this result is because of the um, the column mode that I choose for the design and then the size of the project but when I export it everything will come out clearer so like I did in the end design project, I'm going to do the same thing here now. So I don't want to waste time on this. So I think for now you already know how to import your image. So you can do that on your own. Alright, so this is it. So I have the um, the pictures and the boxes. And let me, I'm, the next thing I need to do is to insert the logos. I'm going to be posting more video on my layout and composition series. I wish you guys best of luck. Bye.